That's a happy boy. What do we got today, Mr. Sean? Today we've got one of the biggest breweries in all the land, if you're thinking microbreweries. It's New Belgium. Their Voodoo Ranger Experimental IPA. And this bad boy is 6.6% ABV. Is the experiment to see how many hops America can handle before we all collectively lose our stuff? Yes, I think that's printed on the bottom part of the can. Here's um, a beer and a... <laughs> Corey using the number six with cheese. Um, this is a koozie, kind of. Yeah, that's the pocket and the titty koozie. It's also a nipple hardener, or at least that's what it's doing to me now. Multiple uh, functions, and then I've got, I don't really know if I could sexually use this in any way. Maybe if I shoved it inside myself. Yeah, there's a movie, Mr. Hand. Okay. Or not a movie, a YouTube movie, mm -hmm. I guess. Sure, yeah. Actually, probably not on YouTube, on a porn site. Okay. Do you know what I'm referencing? Is that one guy, one jar? Yeah, except they didn't call it that, because that obviously came before two Oh, right, what do they call it? I think it was just his name, Mr. Hand. Oh, he, sound, like he sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah. I got to save my phone. I'll show you later. Okay, cool. I was wondering. Send me that link. I know I'm a man of God, but that is hot. Um, and then today, Corey, what are we eating on this? Today show? we're eating Boston Market has frozen food items, which I didn't know, but they have a sweet and sour chicken, which seems like really uh, off brand for them. They yeah. just went to P.F. Chang and said, hey, you ready for a little, or not P.F. Chang, more like Panda Express. Panda Express. And said, We're gonna, you want a little competition there, buddy boy? Right, right. We'll see. So here we go. So microwave these bad boys. And here we go. Um, man, the I will say the meat and the sauce looks like really atrocious. Scary. Yeah, um, it looks I'm like mix. clumpy menstruation. I think you gotta mix it. You got to. I'm That's, I think that helps take care of some of the sauce looking so menstruate-y. <laughs> You put rice in there. Mm. <laughs> we eat this once a month. <laughs> I know, well, I probably shouldn't have told this story. <laughs> I'm gonna help it a lot by mixing it. I don't know if it says that in the directions. I think you really should. I Take think it's like intuitive, but America is not necessarily the most intuitive people. Take our word for it. So, this is probably the move. Yeah. Can't go wrong with fried rice, man. It's one of my favorite foods. So good. Okay, here we go. Ready for your first Now bite. that we're all mixed up here. Happy brew review. Cheers. Cheers. Taste isn't bad. No, no, no. No crunch on the chicken, which is obviously a disappointment, but I think we both knew that was gonna happen. Yeah, it's, uh, it'd be really asinine of me to be like, where's the crunch? You put it in the microwave, man. Mm hmm But sauce and chicken and rice together, <laughs> I'm probably never gonna not like it. It's great. Mm hmm This is probably like cafeteria chicken, but man, the rice saves it. I don't even care. And we're getting vegetables in here, dude. We got some peas, mm -hmm, some, some carrots. carrots. I don't mind that. You know how to ramp this baby up, though? Mmm. Sixer sauce, can stubby arms get it? Ah! Doesn't look good, coach. Candy ploy! Oh man, you got spicy trough in here, too. Yeah, I sure do. Oh yeah, that's enough. Have a sauce cabinet at home. A hot sauce cabinet. <laughs> maybe the drawer in your refrigerator and your significant other's like, enough. There's oh. so many sauces. <laughs> oh wow, I put too much. Mm. Yeah, it'll start to, it'll really burn you. That was hot. Man, hot sauce in general. <clears throat> wow, I did too. Mm -hmm. On Chinese mm. food really works. Yeah, we discovered that not too long ago. Mm. You guys gotta do it. You gotta do it. I'll tell you what. Definitely, I think above top 50% of frozen foods, mm -hmm. but I don't necessarily know if it's above 50% of Chinese food that you can get in the frozen food section. Only because of innovation. Innovation really set the bar for like how to package it in the box so you <coughs> set yourself up for success in cooking. Mm -hmm. This is just all the TV tray where the chicken cooks in the sauce and it kind of makes it mushy. Corey pointed out, I forgot about this. Innovation keeps that separate. You put the sauce on after. It's brilliant. Mm hmm Smash that. Mm. Yeah, I got hot mouth. Yeah. You know, you get a little mm -hmm. hot mouth, you gotta shovel it in to try to dissipate. Yeah. Have some of that, do a 12 ounce curl. Mm hmm This is, uh, this beer though has a little bit of a weedy taste that I don't like. Mm -hmm. Like I understand that it's hoppy, and I like hops a lot and you don't, but I'm actually not a big fan of, I like regular Voodoo Ranger. Now it's like, I've had it enough where it's like, a, it's a reliable. It's one of my faves. But experimental, is the experiment adding way too much wheat to too much hops? That's funny because I'm getting a lot of wheat. I was gonna say this is like one of my more preferred wheat, uh, not wheaty, hoppy beers lately. Like, I'm not getting the hops as much. I wonder it's if it's because the wheat is countering I it. I think so, there's not too much dankness in it as mm -hmm. they say. It doesn't have that West Coast IPA kick. Yeah, that's not bad. Maybe it's a Colorado hop. Dude, I don't, I don't know if it's just because I'm excited to be drinking beer and eating again, but I'm really not minding this combo right now. Not as bad as I, you know, to look at it. Right. 
It was so disturbing. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna say what it looked like that reminded me of this story. Okay. You'll appreciate this. We had a friend who got, not a friend, an acquaintance who I met for the first time and then she went on to tell me this very detailed story about how she had a miscarriage in her shower and it came out like clumpy. That it looked, it, The way she described it, she might as well just been describing the look of Boston Mark get sweet and sour chicken in that red sauce. That was the one that I said, I know how you feel. I lost my phone once. Because <laughs> she, she was all sad about losing a kid. Yeah, it got that reaction from my friends, not that reaction from her. Well, to be fair, that is not a story you tell someone the third time you meet them, let alone the yeah. first. Yeah, that's, that's messed like a, up. Yeah, that's a that's a deep into dating story. That's not. Wow. She went into very gory details. Very gory. Do you think, based on you telling that story on today's video, there's a chance we might get a Boston Market brand deal at some point? I I sure hope so. <laughs> You're in it for the comedy. Uh, um, well, I don't know. You know, I'm such a sicko. I still enjoyed that. This whole thing here today, the food, yeah, the stories, the alcohol. I'm having a great time. But before we go ahead and do a uh, yes or no, a thumbs up or thumbs down on this today, if you guys should buy it, like this video. Yeah, and subscribe. If you're not subscribed, mm -hmm. you're a fool. Yeah. These Friday videos are a lot of fun. You know, we've been grinding it out in the car all week, and now we get to sit down and enjoy a beverage. So uh, we can't get a DUI when we do can't it. Can't do way. it. So like the video, subscribe, and then also, what should they comment here today? Oh, that's a good question. I feel like something with Chinese food needs to be in the comments. I know, right? <laughs> yeah. I wonder, could we just ask, like this is simple and we're kind of knocking out the simple ones because we're kind of new into this comment thing, but right. like, maybe just asking what their favorite frozen Chinese food is? Sure. Is that yeah. too, mm. is there going to be enough comments? Do people have that? I think I like that question because my favorite thing from a Chinese restaurant is different than frozen food. Because yeah. sometimes you gotta pick and choose. Like, I a lot of times don't get the chicken unless it's an evasion. Yeah. Harder to screw up like the beef entree. That's so true. Or lo mein, That's or just true. a shrimp fried rice. So I think my answer would probably be a beef lo mein from the frozen food aisle. Yeah. And I'm with you where I don't choose. Like, I get general salads from restaurants, but the innovation general salads I don't think is as good as the orange chicken. Mm -hmm. Maybe sure. it is. Sure. Yeah. Or maybe it is the general salads. I like, either way. I see what you're saying though. I don't know what I'm talking it's a, about. No, restaurant and a frozen are, are two different beasts. Mm -hmm. So comment below, what's your favorite frozen food Chinese entree? Yeah, mine's definitely one of the innovation ones. Yeah. I feel like also you can air fry an egg grill really well. You absolutely can. So, and the sauce that it comes with is gonna be money, so comment below. And now let's do a shout out. Merch out, merch out, merch out. Number six with cheese.com. You might have been too slow or maybe there's a couple left of the pint glasses, the, the second iteration that came out. We also have the new neon shirt that is also still available in all sizes, so snag that extra small all the way to 5X. Uh, we've got a bunch of other stuff on the website as well. You obviously saw us use the hotter sixer sauce. That's a game changer. That's one of the two things on our website you can eat. You can wear stuff, you can eat stuff. Uh, today, two names of people that bought off the website. My uh, advice to you is get the hot sauce subscription you'll get the fastest shout out possible. Two names. Merch on number one goes to our good friend, Courtney Hubbard. Uh, she's an awesome actress. She's an awesome friend. Yeah. Uh, and she's an awesome supporter of artists by buying our Sixer sauce. She got three bottles of it. We sent it, bought two blocks that way. <laughs> uh, she lives in Chicago, because she's awesome. She also just won the election for SAG-AFTRA. She's the president of the United States she's, of America. She's now president of the United States of America of acting. Wow, dude. Yeah, Congrats she's her, dude. Courtney, thanks for buying. And her birthday was like uh, two to three weeks prior to this video coming out. So happy belated, belated birthday. <laughs> and merch shout out number two goes to my fiance's brother and my good friend, Mr. Nick Morris. He was out there in Pacifica, California. Um, Pacifica, a beautiful place, but they also have the world's most gorgeous Taco Bell. Sits right in the water. Oh, they wow. film all their like, real stonery California ads at that location. Wow. So I got to go have a cheesy gordita crunch from there. Cause when in California, list, go to Taco bro. Bell. Uh, he got three bottles of Sixer sauce. Uh, he texted me at one point and said, wow, it's actually good. Cause he assumed I was gonna crash and burn, I'm assuming, cause that's, you know, tough love. But Nick, thank you, Courtney, thank you. Number six with cheese.com. He's also a robotics engineer, so he's doing way better than I am in life. boy. Nice to meet you, man. <laughs> <laughs> This is the, like the temporary robot, right? Okay, moment of truth. Should you buy this or not? Let's do that right now. Eric McCluskey. That door is loud out there, huh? <laughs> Drum roll, please. Thank you, sir. 
All right, thumbs up or thumbs down on whether or not you liked or enjoyed. But the main thing is, if you think the Sixers should buy the sweet and sour Boston Market rice and chicken bowl entree TV tray. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh, oh! Even though I think there's better ones out there, I yeah. still think it's better than most of the frozen food items that you can get. Yes. So I say go for it. I, like Corey said earlier, I had very low expectations. The only tip I'll give you once again, mix them together. I'm telling you right now, I think the chicken on its own, you really need to mix that all in. So be a mixer. Don't be somebody who eats their food out of two separate trays. Mix them, make them one, and you'll like it. Mm -hmm. um, so guys, that's another week of videos, Monday through Friday. Uh, like we said, don't forget to comment your favorite frozen food, Chinese, and uh, we'll be back here Monday. <laughs> it sounded like you just asked the Chinese population of our fans. With everyone who's a Chinese American, and all the Germans, Chinese you guys resident. are on pizza duty this week, comment that below. <laughs> Let's just both somehow get half canceled during this mm -hmm. video. Uh, guys, we'll see you Monday for a brand new video. Thanks for rocking with us. Uh, Voodoo Ranger Experimental IPA. You might have had a little too much wheat for me, but I still enjoy the fact that you get me drunk. Sure! I'll have a drink. It's a good thing about uh, making fun of aborted babies <coughs> and whatnot. Yeah. Who's in cancel yet? They're dead. They've been aborted. Can't get canceled. <laughs> Save. I like that they're not like most food reviewers.